Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating additive patterns. We will do it in 5 minutes or less. When we're talking about additive patterns, we're talking about creating pairs of numbers based on a rule. And our rule here is going to be y equals x plus a. Now you've probably seen rules set up in tables like this. And you have your x and you have your y. And so what happens here is in this case, we are going to add that we've got the addition sign here. That's why it's called an additive pattern. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with an x. Let's say our x is 1. And the big question is, is what are we going to add? What is this a? So let's put a number in there for the a. Let's say y equals x plus 3. So you might say the rule equals plus 3. You've probably done this in third or fourth grade. But what we're going to do is we're going to write it as a larger equation. y equals x plus 3. So here's our x. Our x is 1. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this here as y equals 1 because I replaced the x with the 1 plus 3. So if y equals 1 plus 3, that means y is going to equal 4. So it's a plus 3 rule, but what we do is we're going to write it in a full equation here. y equals x plus 3. So we just pick a random set of x's here. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to skip up to 7 because it doesn't always have to go up in order. And remember our rule or our pattern here is we're going to add 3. So it's going to be 2 plus 3 makes 5. 3 plus 3 is going to make 6. And 7 plus 3 is going to make 10. Let's look at another example. Sometimes you'll get a problem like this. You are presented with four separate tables, and you need to match it to a given rule. So in this case, our rule is y equals x plus 15. And so let's go ahead and take a look at these. The key here is to try to find the rule for each of these tables and then find which one of these is going to be adding 15. Well, we can go ahead and eliminate our first option here because if you take a look, the numbers actually get smaller, which means we're going to be subtracting 15. And so the number is correct, 15, but the operation is wrong. It's subtract rather than adding. Now we are adding on this one, but 15, you actually have to add 16 on this particular table. So it's close, but it's not quite. So that is not going to work. We have 10. We need to add 15 here. And so it looks like this is going to work. 20 plus 15 makes 35. So that is going to work. 35 plus 15 makes 50. So this is our answer. Since it is y equals x, 10 plus 15 makes 25 here. Let's see what's wrong with this last one. It is adding, but the addition is going to be too small. We're simply adding 10. So what we could do is we can go ahead and write an equation for each of these. In this particular case right here, this last one, is going to be y equals x plus 10. This one, the very first one, is going to be y equals x minus 15, wrong one. And then I'll write this last one up top here. This is going to be y equals x plus 16, not plus 15. Now it's time for you to try. You've got two practice problems here. First, you have a rule here, y equals x plus 7. Go ahead and create four number pairs that would work with y equals x plus 7. On the right side, I'm giving you the rule y equals x plus 16. You need to match that to one of these four tables. When you have your answer, unpause the video, check your work. So the four x values I chose were 5, 10, 15, and 20. Yours might be different, most likely they are. The only key is you got to make sure your y is 7 greater than your x. On the right side here, what we're going to do is we're going to write out what our equations are. In this case, we are adding 10 to this first one, so that's not going to work. In the second case, it looks like y equals x. 4 plus 16 makes 20, and that plus 16 works all the way down. So it looks like that's going to be our answer here. But let's check our other two. We have y equals x plus. That's going to be a 15, close but not quite. And then this last one is going to be y equals, we're actually getting smaller, x minus 3.